Are you a mom facing the emotional toll of estrangement and struggling with the physical impact it's having on your own well-being? And if so, you are not alone, I promise you. In this video, we're going to talk about powerful stress management strategies tailored just for you, and this will empower you to prioritize your own mental and physical health. So let's dive into this. And I want to start by saying that the effects you are feeling likely did not happen overnight right? You've been grappling with this for a while now. And I get you because I was 100% there. And what I found that helped me were these four tips. And the first is understanding the physical impact of the stress. You know, it's not something you automatically think about. It just kind of happens. But I want to encourage you to identify what is your specific stressor related to estrangement. And it might be a trigger such as a thought, um, a situation, or a conversation that you are replaying in your mind over and over and over. But this thing is contributing to your heightened stress levels. So I want you to pay really close attention to that and how your body feels during these times. So when you are triggered, I want you to pay really close attention to that. And I want you to write them down. And you're going to be amazed um, at what you learn about yourself. Number two is mindfulness or relaxation so important and one of the biggest things there is deep breathing and you've probably heard a lot about that and people have different techniques and ways to do it and what has always helped me is regardless of the number of breaths i use or the number of count you always want to exhale more than you inhale so if you're going to inhale five hold for five and release for eight right always exhale a little bit more then you inhale and that will really help calm your nervous system. I know those uh, deep breathing techniques helped me tons and sometimes I would forget about them and you may too, you may forget that little tip or trick that really works for you. But once you do it uh, more often, you're gonna realize that how important it is. And number three is physical exercise. And some of you may not be um, having a current exercise routine, or maybe you're not able to, or whatever the case may be, I want you to find something that you can do consistently, even if it's walking, right? Maybe lifting lighter weights, or if you're able, lift heavier weights. Because if you're watching this video, you're definitely a mom who um, is probably in her at least 40s, 50s, 60s, or beyond. And um, our, we lose our muscle, right? Um, I'm not an exercise coach, but had a lot of training in this as well, and I just know how important and how much better I feel when I lift weights. So whatever that looks like for you, just try to be consistent, but it's just so important. And then the last one is a support group. And I just want to remind you of how important it is to be connected. You know, I have a whole process that I use when I coach one-on-one, -on -one, and number one in that whole process is community, because community is where the power is. Um, my group coaching program, I see moms just literally transform their lives. Uh, they start, I start, we were just talking the other day about how I've seen so much growth in all of them, whether they've been there a few weeks, a few months, or a year or more. And it's just beautiful to see, but it's a community. And whether it's my community or someone else's, I encourage you to go seek one out um, and be around, surround yourself with people who are going through or who have been through what you're going through because they can empathize with you. And I think that's really important. So if that's you and you're interested in learning more about coaching, you can click the link below for a discovery call and we can connect on there. You can set up an appointment to discuss that with me and I can share with you a little bit more about how I might be able to help. And so I hope that helps you today and I'll see you next time.